rollovers. And rollovers in Dreamweaver are super simple. One message box, you tell it what picture to be first, what picture goes second, and what link it's going to go to when I hover over it. And essentially, you need to run it in the browser to see it happen. Kids are always like, oh, it's not working. You have to save it and then load it into the browser, and then the script will run. And when the mouse comes over the image, the second image will flip. And when you pull the mouse out, the first image will come back. You can also activate your title attributes so that when I hover over that rollover image once it's completed, I get a love note that tells me what's going to happen. And typically we do this with like before and afters, or if we wanted to make our navigation a little bit fancier where, you know, this is the current button and then it kind of flips to a second button that looks almost the same but has one thing different like the border or some other change or whatever. So here I am in my Dreamweaver. If you take a look at my files panel, it's just a basic, um, it's just a basic file. It's nothing to write home about. I've got a chocolate lab puppy and a chocolate lab older puppy in here. So it's like a one year old or whatever. I was going to download pictures of Chloe. That's our chocolate lab, but I, I opted to just do the quick generic ones on Google. But anyways, when I come into my window or my Dreamweaver design view here, I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to go to image objects, I'm going to drag over to rollover image, okay? And what it gives me is this really quick message box, like I said earlier, that asks me for specific things, okay? So original image is what's going to load once you're in there. I'm going to click browse, and as long as your site is managed correctly, it's going to browse to the picture that you wanted first, okay? Second image is the rollover. Again, it's when I mouse over or roll over that image, gentlemen, what image it's going to float to. So I'll change that to the older lab and click open. Now, preload rollover image. Back in the day, this mattered because a lot of people were connected to the web with slow connections. It really doesn't matter much anymore because we're all on Fios or a much faster connection speed. But just keep it checked off. It's the default. Leave it alone. So essentially, the person doesn't have to wait for the second image to load because it's already sitting there ready to go. Alt text, again, this is for you visually impaired or people that choose to view the web without pictures. So you can just say something that makes sense so the people that can't see it or don't want to see it know what they're missing. So chocolate mix, chocolate lab. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this so that when I do my title attribute, I don't have to type it again. And then when I click, where am I going to go? Now, this is something you have to have done your homework for, too. I'm going to copy again. But I'll just do, like, Chocolate Lab Official AKC site or something. There it is. Beautiful. Just copy that URL with my Command C. When I come back into Dreamweaver, I'll just paste it in. Now, before I forget, I'm going to copy that again so I don't have to type it all over again, and I'm going to click OK. Now, when you look at it in your Dreamweaver window, it's going to look like a picture. Down on your Properties panel, it'll modify it a little bit and give you some more options than you're used to. And you look in your Code window, it has a lot of script and a lot of blah, 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 MM swap image, MM this. With that, and I'll, don't worry about all of that, the message box totally took care of your code. All right. Now, if you want to be that kid and go in there and modify stuff, feel free to do so. You don't need to, though. That's the beauty of doing this via the Dreamweaver message box. It does everything for you. Now, once I save this document and I load it into my browser, then and only then, I'm going to see it do a switcheroo between the two different images. Again, the first image is there when the page loads. The second image goes when I hover the mouse over, and as soon as I'm out of, as soon as I'm out of that width and height area, it switches back to the first one. Okay? So I didn't really get any reaction. I think this is pretty cool. If you guys like ooh and ah something, ooh, uh, yeah, it's not, if it's not authentic, it's not worth it. Sorry, I even asked. But anyways, that, that's how this works. Now, the pointer finger is telling you straight up what's going to happen, which is always a blessing. Because you know visually that's a link. If you look down in your system status, it tells you it's going to go to a page, the AKC page that I found. And by default, like every link, it's going to get rid of my site and override my site and give me the link that I asked for. I mean, I can get my site back with my back browser, which is 
perfect. Um, but I want to go over a couple of other things before I move forward. But before I do, what questions do you have at this point? All right, don't start it yet. We're not done with the lesson. Next thing I'm going to do is come into my image tag, and I'm going to get that title attribute that I spoke of earlier. Now, some of you are still struggling. Struggling is the wrong word. You don't do this often enough to feel totally in control of how to do this. So all I do is I click on the image. I go to the code window where it's already highlighted. I put my cursor in there, and I hit a space bar, and it's going to automatically populate the list of what my possible attributes are for, in this case, the image tag. If I start typing title, it'll automatically populate. And then I'm going to paste, click here, chocolate lab, whatever I put earlier, so I don't have to type it again. And then the last step, which a lot of you all forget, is you need one more space between attributes. Sometimes, depending upon where you put the cursor, you don't need it, but every single attribute needs a new space, whether it's width, height, title, alt, whatever it is, there's only one space between every single one of those different changes. So I'll save over this. And the last thing I want to do is target to a blank page. And you can do that through the code window like I just showed you all, or you can come into here, which I like to do, and just say blank. And then what it's going to do is target to a blank or a new page, and it will open up the AKC link, in this case, on a separate page, so my page stays open. So show them they don't believe you. Sure. Google Chrome, highlight, highlight, love note, chocolate lab before and after. That's the title attribute in, in play. And when I click on it, please notice that my page stays open and the page that I asked it to link to opens on a separate or a blank 